Hey everyone, it's Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. I am back again. As I mentioned earlier, we got more new things in today and I want to share it with you, especially because we got the uh, new Tim Holtz Chapter 1 release um, from Sizzix with dies and embossing folders and other fun things. We also got some other goodies in. I'm going to start off with those and show you what we got there. We did get um, another Valentine paper in, another really cute vintage paper. You can see here all these lovely vintage and kind of retro images on there and just this nice plaid on the back. We also got some ink in. I got Versifying Claire in. I got the Tulip Red back in. It is a nice red, perfect for Valentine's Day. Some ink, some new dye inks in from Pink Fresh Studio. I um, one of the four packs in. I wanted to try it out and make sure I really liked it before I brought them in. And unfortunately, um, by the time I did that, they have been so popular that almost all of them are sold out. I have three um, sets in, and I will be getting more in. There are a total of 12 of these four color sets. Um, you can see these are the mini ink pads. They are um, a gradation of colors. They also do all come in, the, all the colors come in individual large pads as well, but I thought I would start off with the little mini sets. I want to show you the set that I got in to try out was a red set and here is a background that I did. I used my blending brushes and created that background. You can see how what how beautifully they blend out into a background. I think they'll also be great for using with the layering stamps as well um, having the range of single colors. So this one is has greens in it. You can see from the pale greens up to the deep evergreen. The other two may seem like they're not very exciting, but a lot of times people are really missing out on good uh, range of grays and browns in their uh, ink color palette. And because these are in the small pads, they are more cost effective. This one has the uh, pale grays up to black, and we also have down up to the nice dark espresso brown. Um, we will be getting more of these in, but I do have a few of them in right now if you want to try them out. Got in another new studio light stencil. I've been waiting on this one for a while, and I didn't get all of them that I ordered, but I should have more of them next week. I don't know, this one for some reason kind of reminds me of fireworks. I just like here the different patterns that are on here. Um, speaking of stencils, we also got some Pixie Spray back in. This is a low-tack repositionable adhesive. It's perfect for using with your stencils and masks to hold it in place on your project while you apply your paint or your ink or in, uh, embossing um, paste, and, but then you can easily pull it up off of your work. So got some more of that in. All right, got some things in that we're going to be using in um, some other This is a class in February, so it's a little ways off yet, but I wanted to go ahead and get it in. This is a really cute stamp set from Stamping Bella. We have the little pug and the fire hydrant there, and then as you can see that there are a couple of sentiment stamps in there. There is also a die that cuts out the pug and the hydrant. And this is a card that we're going to be using that on. As I mentioned, this is going to be a card dynamics class next month. And when you open this up, there you have popping out the little pug and the fire hydrant. Also got in this embossing folder because we're going to be using this on the outside of our card. It's a paw print embossing folder. It's really cute with all the paw prints all over it. Another die that is not new. It came out, I think, last year from Lawn Fawn. Um, and we had it in, but we are going to be using it. It is the Toast add-on die. Um, they had the Let's Toast set last year, and this was an add-on die for that. It lets you kind of do a pull-up, and you can use it with lots of things other than that Let's Toast set. Um, a, a couple of sets from the latest Lawn Fawn release, and we're going to be using that. You can see there this pull-up mechanism lets the little mouse come out of the typewriter and then we actually have a double pull up here with the little mouse popping up out of the drawer and again that was using this let's toast mechanism got in some more of the dress my craft um, elements and I meant to open these up so you could see them this one is called the dessert mix and it's similar to one that we had 
are, uh, that we have in already, but it's smaller elements. The other one was the sweet treats, and it was some of the same uh, candies and cupcakes and things, but they were larger, and this one is a little bit smaller size. We also got back in the little penguins. We had This was one of the first ones we got in, and it sold out almost right away, and we haven't been able to get it back in until now, so we have the penguins back in. And I know there's some of you that are going to really, really like these. I don't have very many of them, but I do have more of them coming probably next week. And this is Little Rainbow Mickeys. How adorable are those? So lots of new fun shaker elements. All right, let's get into the new Tim Holtz. As I mentioned, this is the Chapter 1 release from Sizzix with Tim Holtz. And there are a lot of really great things start off with a new 3D embossing folder. This one is called Roses. You can see the beautiful big rose and then the bud up there. Really gorgeous. And again, this is a 3D folder, so you have different um, depths of embossing, which really makes it really elegant looking. There are also two new impresslets. These are a combination of die and embossing folder. This one is called Fanciful, and um, that one is really, really beautiful. And then this is a long strip one, and this is called trellis. If you look closely, you can see there's some flowers in there and some vines like it is growing up a trellis. So those are really pretty. I do not have any samples to show you of any of these. Uh, I just checked Tim's blog, and he doesn't have any of the samples posted on his blog yet. But if you haven't, I highly recommend that you go to his blog and he has the video that he did last week, his Facebook Live video has posted on his blog, and he has lots of samples of a lot of these. So if you see anything you're interested in, definitely go and check that video out. All right, everything else I think that we have in this release is dies. This is a fun one, it's the hexagon stack tiles, and you get five sets of the five different sizes of hexagons. They are all individual dies, so you can lay those out um, to your heart's content to create some really fun background patterns. This next one is one of my absolutely favorite ones. It is doodle art, and you can see it has kind of this fun, I mean, that's what it looks like. It looks like somebody sat down and doodled, and it is really amazing. Tim shows um, a sample that he die cut this from black and layered it over a bright alcohol ink background, and it is really, really stunning. Love that one a lot. Next up is a new Geo die. This one is Geo Frames, and I think there's all kinds of things that you could use these to frame all different kinds of elements. There's a heart, and here we've got a rectangle and a triangle and a diamond, and I think those um, could have lots and lots of uses. Uh, one of the dies that Tim released last year that was really popular was the crochet die, and so he has come out with a new crochet. This one is the Crochet 2. It has three dies in it, and these are really pretty, and I think if you take a look at this, you might discover that you can use this for other things. I think that middle one there kind of looks like maybe the top of a wrought iron fence, other than just trim. Have some great nature uh, themed dies in here. This one is Scribbly Butterflies. You have these four really pretty butterflies. This one is Bouquet, and this one is really lovely as well. Lots of detail in those flowers. I'm layering this over a pretty background that you create, whether it's with Distress Oxides, watercolors, um, alcohol inks, I think that would be really pretty. This is another one that is great to use with backgrounds. It is the cutout leaves die, and I will point out that there are actually eight individual dies in there. This is not just one die that's, that is set up like you see on the front, so that you can use one of them, you can use multiples, you can lay them out however you want. This is Tim's latest die that works with the dimensional domes that came out a little over a year ago. You can see there he has used one with that um, cute little gumball machine. You also have the sun and a layered balloon and the globe as well. This is a great one for Easter coming up. This is Bunny Hop. You have these three cute little bunnies here. And for Valentine's Day, this is a really nice one, the Falling Hearts die. This one would make some really great confetti um, so that uh, the pieces you cut out, you can keep those and use as confetti in your shakers. 
There is a new colorized die. This one is Theodore, a bear, and he is absolutely adorable. This is probably the one that I was most surprised how much I liked it in the video. This is a new pattern repeat die, and it's a little bit hard to tell from here, but if you watch the video, this die is designed to make it really easy for you to repeat this pattern as many times as you want so that it looks like it's all one big pattern linked together. And he has a sample in there that he used this one here, kind of this honeycomb or chicken wire pattern. And someone created a sample and uh, put it, it's in a frame and it looks like real chicken wire repeated at multiple times. And it really does look like chicken wire. It is awesome. I think that in that um, Sam used the, this uh, bottled up dye that has the four different bottles in it, and I think they had some flowers in them. Um, next up is a new typewriter. This is a Biggs dye. It is called Retro Type, and that is a really fun retro typewriter. And there are two new alphabet dyes, the um, Tiny Type Upper and the Tiny Type Lower. And these really are tiny. You can see there like that A is a quarter of Have a paper coming out and use those dies to create your own message on there. The very last thing that I have to show you is a Biggs XL die. It is a curio box and it is a die that lets you create your own box that you can um, use for all different kinds of things and it's really unique because it also comes with some framelits dies that lets you do that front opening and then it also has a banner die with it as well. There's some really great samples with that and actually with all of these on his video. So if you haven't found the time to watch it yet and you see some things you're interested in, I hope you'll take some time and check it out. All right, that's all that I have for you right now. Hope you all have a great evening and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.